Jack managed to get a number of really good papers from the TCT meeting, and this is one of them. Uh, it is diagnostic performance of non-invasive fractional flow reserve derived from CTN geography in suspected CAD, the NXT, or NEXT trial. And I am with Stefan Achenbach, MD, Erlangen University Hospital, Germany. Tell me a little bit about why you did the NEXT trial first. It's an interesting new concept. Many of the diagnostic studies in coronary artery disease have been comparing whatever modality to coronary angiography detect stenosis. Right. But detecting stenosis is not so important. It's about detecting ischemia causing stenosis. And in invasive angiography, you have a great new gold standard now, which is FFR, which really tells us whether a lesion needs to be treated. And this trial, the NXT trial, compared CT for non-invasively estimating FFR to the invas invasively measured FFR. So would it be a lot less expensive to stay non-invasive? Oh, absolutely. Of course, it's always good to have a non-invasive test over an invasive test. And it's a, it's a new concept that you use anatomy seen by CT and geography, then subject that to fluid dynamics modeling and extract FFR information out of that. And this has been compared to the gold standard invasively measured FFR. So what did you find? The results were surprisingly good. The sensitivity to identify ischemia-causing lesions by CT FFR was 86%, very high. The specific specificity was 79%, also very high. So this is very impressive given the fact that we're doing this completely non-invasively. So what patients would you suggest that this might be tried with? Most likely it's the intermediate patient. When a patient has completely clean coronary arteries, you don't need it because there's no stenosis. You don't have to model FFR. Right. If there's a very high grade left main stenosis, you know it's prognostically relevant. You don't need it. But all these patients who have intermediate stenosis, you don't know whether they're hemodynamically relevant or not. Now we can compare this to the best gold standard we have. How difficult challenging is the reading of the, of the information? Is it pretty straightforward or do you really, is there a learning curve to be able to actually understand what the images are telling you? Well, the FFRCT is a number that you get back from a computer program. The images are sent off for processing using supercomputers. It's a calculation that takes several hours and then you get back a, a, a data set that gives you the number of FFR in all segments of the coronary artery system. So for the physician, the interpretation is not difficult at all. You get the number back. How many patients were involved in this study? In that trial, it was 251 patients. So that's a fairly large trial. Yeah, it is. Where are you going next with this? Well, we have diagnostic accuracy now. Right. And in diagnostic testing, the next, step, next steps will always be prognosis. And uh, then down the line, the influence on decision making. Um, so we have to show now that basing therapeutic decisions on this test will be beneficial for the patient. That should be the next step. I think it's really exciting, and I congratulate you because I was talking to Dr. Spencer King and some others, and this really does look like an interesting aspect of, of trying to get to the bottom of this in, uh, in what is really causing the ischemia. Absolutely. We are now finally testing non-invasive imaging against the true gold standard, which is ischemia detected by FFR. Well, this again is from the, the TCT meeting, and the paper will be appearing in Jack. so please go there for the uh, Achenbach et al., and it's Diagnostic Performance of Non-Invasive Fractional Flow Reserve Derived from CT Angiography in Suspected CAD, and it is the next trial. For Cardiosource World News, I'm Rick McGuire.